you're feeling like and it, it's like no matter what you do you can't block or suppress it you know there's nothing you can buy to make it go away necessarily well sometimes like you know uh, hearing advice or a counseling session or something like that will help you of course you know that's why I always recommend my line of work because um, I give advice to people you know I'm here to guide people through the process I'm not here to just necessarily tell you your future I'm here to kind of guide you to say hey the future's up to you this path could happen this path could happen this path could happen which timeline do you want to pick you know um, so but you know I, I feel like it's a beautiful time to be lost because I have so many options and you know at least there's that you know I'm not like all hope is not lost or gone um, but at the same time it's over the options are overwhelming and I don't necessarily know what to do <coughs> want to give someone a, a good future, a better future than even I had, and 
is like I'm thinking to myself, is that even like realistically, you know, like I, I know God works miracles, but like part of me still contradicts and like realistically, is that even possible for most people anymore, you know? Like people are actually holding themselves back from having children because it's too much. You know? I'd rather be like uh dual income, no kids, like that kind of life at this point. It just makes more logical sense. You know, you can go wherever you want. You don't have to hire a babysitter or do whatever. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like... I don't know. It, I feel like it, it's very constricting and confining. This new reality. And there's so many limits. By the way, I checked. There's only 9 million self-employed people in America. In a population of 300 and... 34 million, I think, now. That's crazy. I thought there was way more. That is, that's only like barely 3%, not even. It's like less than 3%. That's crazy. That's crazy to me. It makes me feel very special. <laughs> but, um, yeah. And I've been self-employed since 2011, basically. So thank you guys for that. Um, oh my god, that would be like 13 years now. Yeah, crazy. So, um, I don't know. I, I guess it's like, it's no confusion about what I do. I enjoy what I do. I love it. It's just like, I feel like, Where do I go from here, you know? And if it wasn't for my boo, which, I mean, we talk pretty much every day, like, I would be struggling right now. Like, I would be mentally struggling, emotionally, like, and I don't like to depend on anyone, you know, to, to get me through things, but I feel like sometimes you need that support and that backup, you know? to just get you through, you know, we're human and we can't always face challenges on our own. But I also have never been more lost, more confused in my entire life. And I'm not necessarily scared of it. I was at first because maybe I'm just getting so used to this feeling that I don't know, I want to say to that guy, the ASM artist, or any teenager, or any 20-year-old, or any 25-year-old out there, or any year old who's feeling lost and don't know what you're doing in life, it's okay, it's okay to not be all right in this moment, keyword moment, you know, just enjoy the present for all that it entails, um, because, you know, what if you feel more lost, more confused in a year, you know? The other day I felt like I was losing my mind, like I couldn't even sleep. I, I don't know, I just felt like really disturbed, like my, my, my thoughts went really, oh, you know, twisted in many ways. And, you know, that's part of mental health and I've had my struggles since very early on, like battling with the brain. <laughs> Um, you know, and it's not funny, it's not a joke, you know, it's just not, you know, I used to even joke about it, like other people used to joke about it all the time, but like, when you actually go through it, it's just not funny, and, um, you definitely don't want someone to laugh at you for that, or humiliate you, you know, so, um, it's been a bumpy ride, you know, most days are good, you know, journaling has helped, um, gosh, I hate when they do that, you know, I led, I literally live on a, like, a, a road where the people are, uh, turning, and then I'm, like, right on the edge of that turn, where they go from slow to faster, so everyone always tries to rev their engine right on that curve, and that, that's why you always hear that. It's so annoying. I mean, at least I don't get that much traffic on this street, but anyway, um, so 
yeah, just like I was having doubts, like, oh my god, why did I actually, like, like, just a whole bunch of doubts, like, I'm not even gonna go into it, why did I do this, why did I do that, just the little things here and there, big things, everything, you know, I'm not even gonna say it, because every time I say something that's too personal and private, someone always wants to say something back in a hurtful, negative light, so, I'm just not even gonna say it to protect myself, but I feel like it's just not that I'm actually having doubt or regret, it's just like one huge contradiction, right? Um, saying to myself one thing when I mean another, and I've never been more just confused. So you probably know what that's like. I would love to hear from you in the comments if you have similar experiences with that. Yeah, so, <laughs> um, sometimes, you know, certain things just don't help, you know? You just have to go through a journey on your own sometimes <laughs> and figure it out, you know, as long as you still have someone to re reach out and c communicate with. It doesn't have to be a, 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 a counselor or any of the sort, you know, because sometimes that doesn't help either, you know, it helps kind of in the moment, but I'm not saying it's like a band-aid to a bigger problem, but like, I don't know, for certain things you just need constant attention, constant help, guidance through, um, but I don't know, this is the first time where I can say openly, honestly, I don't know what I'm doing, I don't know where life is taking me, I have not really much sense of direction. I have a general idea and um, a desire or a pull or a draw, but overall um, it, it, it can be very confusing and frustrating to live day by day not knowing where things are heading, the uncertainty. The sailboat without a compass in the middle of the sea and no one around. Yeah, so... Um, that's why I'm trying my hardest right now not to hang out around people who are also misguided because it's like, I, I just don't want that around me right now. Um, I want a sense of direction and peace and clarity. And anyone who is just not having their own inner compass, it would not be of use to me, you know? Like, it, it's weird because I'm able to help others through their issues, too. Like, it's so weird. Like, yeah. But, um, I think the biggest struggle is helping myself sometimes. And yeah, I know overall helping yourself is the key to helping others. I get that completely. And I know I can get through this and pull through, but I'm just rambling just basically about my life. That's what this video is, so... Um, that's kind of why I'm, I'm just really this year hoping to just, um, explore more, heal more outside of my four walls, right? Like just be willing and open to experience and learn more that I'm not used to experiencing and learning because I know there's more and thing I could say is I don't know, you know, I don't know a lot and that's okay, you know, we may know a lot and still not know a lot and there's so much knowledge out there, so much to learn, I'm definitely continuing to read my, reading my books, <laughs> um, praying, meditating, you know, journaling like I said and just pulling through whatever this feeling or this confusion is. I think nothing makes sense because right now, especially, um, well, this started happening even before the move, but like, especially after the move, it's like, now that blank slate is there and it's like, okay, I have the freedom to work with that blank slate, but I'm nervous to put the paint 
because I'm not sure how it's going to come across and it's the first brush stroke and it, I'm just nervous and it's painful and you know even committing to someone right now it's just like it's very it was very uncomfortable for the longest time and um just in general because you know I thought I would be single forever and you know um no one loves me that kind of thing I still struggle with feeling like I deserve to be loved feeling like it's not that I'm like a bad person it's just because like I've gotten just crappy experience after crappy experience and it's like it's almost like self-validating or proving to me I don't deserve it and um for someone to just even show an ounce of that and truly mean it genuinely was like unbelievable to me um and that brought a lot of um deep emotions and tears and stuff I'm still struggling with and working on like people actually like each other you know I don't know because <coughs> I can go to one end of the extreme to the other real quick right like if someone does me wrong like I am quick to anger <laughs> you know and it's I don't get sad no honey I get angry like that's the first emotion I feel I get triggered pretty quick I get pissed pretty quick um so it's like growing into the new person I'm unfamiliar with that's what this feels like and yeah healing is hard work it's not easy guys it's not like you have to sit with that uncomfortable feeling you have to fight with your egoic mind you have to really be uncomfortable and you have to sometimes lose sleep because of it like it's just you know, my sleep schedule's been whacked to it. I'm finally, probably as of today, recovering it slowly, but I've been going to bed so late, getting up so late. Um, yeah. Yeah, that happens when you live alone sometimes. Like, it, it's not easy to live alone either. You know, it's not as necessarily exciting as it seems, yeah, at first, but like, there are moments, you know, because you're on your own, and you gotta pay your own bills, and, um, yeah, oh boy, I remember what that's like, you know, <laughs> but that was also back when groceries weren't a bajillion dollars, just saying, just saying. So, <sighs> I don't know. We really are wasteful, though. We do spend so much money on food that we end up throwing a third of it in the trash anyway. Like, so. Um, I think it teaches us to be more resourceful and appreciate what we have more because, you know, size of packages are smaller it, a lot of people have been losing weight and I'm like well of course because shrinkflation like the packages are smaller of course you're going to lose weight you know you're now changing the amount you consume I mean naturally you're going to lose weight I wasn't surprised when everyone started coming to me like I'm dropping pounds I lost weight too you know it's like <clears throat> we're learning to consume a lot less we're being lighter we're being lighter beings beings of light coming back to um, to source to the light I mean it all makes sense um, so I think it helps us learn to detach from the material too like detach from those big chunky boxes of cereal I don't know like you know like you don't need that you know <laughs> maybe it teaches us to shop for something smaller healthier that green bell pepper or something, I don't know. I think maybe we're all lost right now because everything's changing so rapidly. And it's just a matter of our evolution. This is the decade of change. Um, if you're not flowing or vibing with the change, you're in trouble, basically. And it's uncomfortable, but we have no choice. At this point, I don't see any other way. Um, just go with it, vibe with it, flow with it. Don't be scared. I think our minds want to alarm us or get triggered because it's outside of our comfort 
resistances ultimately our downfall, you know, because you can't resist the flow of life and how life changes. You may not like it. We may not like it. But the more you resist, the more you are against the flow. And ultimately, that's our downfall, you know? It, it, and it, it, it's... Life itself is so much a contradiction. It really, truly is. So when we are contradictory, I feel like we are just that expression of life, simply and purely put. So how can we be mad at ourselves for being that when we are life itself? So... Life doesn't have to make sense, and neither do you. Maybe life feels lost and confused too. Maybe it doesn't know what it's doing either. Because if it did know what it was doing, we would already know all the answers, wouldn't we? How can we know the answers when life doesn't even know? Life only shows us what it knows. Does that make sense? So I feel like on a deeper scale, it's okay. It gives us all the more reason to be unsure, to be okay with being unsure. Everything we were taught to believe is taken away, slowly but surely. So you have no roadmap. It's life with an open book, and isn't that beautiful? Does that not bring you back to your innocence and your childhood and all the wildest dreams and the imagination you have in your heart. So, I hope maybe you got something out of that today. anything. Any
universe is you now. And that's all you need in this moment. And maybe, just maybe, that's why life doesn't question it itself, because it just enjoys the moment. Everything makes sense in a moment. So let's just enjoy this moment for a minute. <laughs> website.